Good morning, Internet. So I wanted to make a follow-up video today um, regarding a lot of the advice that you guys gave me um, about the climate control settings. I Yesterday, I did a review, the 3,000-mile review of the Chevy Volt because I crossed the 3,000-mile mark in this car. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, and one of the things I mentioned in there was about how it was cold yesterday and I had all my climate control turned up um, to keep me warm. And I really noticed a big difference on my battery range. Um, and I had a lot of you provide me with really good advice about that. Um, but I feel like we got, we got to get to know each other a little bit more um, now because a lot of you suggested that I run it in um, e eco mode or in fan only mode um, in order to preserve the battery power. Now, I did run it in fan only mode. Now, fan only, um, even when I had my temperature set up all the way high, I don't even know if it's supposed to get heat or if it, like, fan only maybe just blows air. I have no idea. Um, if it's supposed to get heat in a regular car, it would get that heat from the heat of the engine um, and use that in order to warm up the cabin air. Um, but I came here on battery power, so my, my um, gas generator was not warm at all, so I don't know if that had something to do with it. But anyway, eco mode or excuse me, fan only mode was just blowing cold air at me. Unacceptable. Eco mode was blowing lukewarm air at me and it was just making me colder. Unacceptable. I turned it on comfort mode. And here's the reason why folks, I know that is not best for my battery. Um, but I, there's two things in this world. I cannot stand. I cannot be cold and I cannot be sticky. Cannot be cold. Cannot be sticky. Would rather die than be cold or sticky. Now, for those of you um, who are um, men and you're married, then you know that if the women are warm, there's peace across the plains. But if the women are cold, there will be war. So I had to stay warm. Uh, <laughs> um, some of you did give me a really good suggestion, which was to use the auto start function on my key fob and precondition my battery. Now, what that means if you don't drive a Volt is I can use the auto start function on my key fob, which it has, and it will remember, like while it's plugged in, it will remember what climate control settings I had it at before, and it will precondition the battery as well as my cabin while it's plugged in. It will bypass the battery and not use energy from my battery pack and just use energy from the wall outlet, which is what I did this morning. And rather than getting here with no range of my battery, I got here with seven miles of range of my battery, which is great. Um, so, which, I mean, it's about, about right because I'm, uh, I'm not at work right now, but I'm nearby and it's about 30 miles from my house to, to the, part of town that I work in. So that, you know, let's save me seven miles of range. It's great. So thank you guys for that suggestion. Um, fan only mode and eco mode when I am cold, not an option. Um, but the preconditioning worked. If you'll notice, I'm not wearing a sweater today. I don't like wearing a sweater when I'm driving. I, I, I don't know if you, if anybody else feels that way, like wearing a, like a, a sweater, um, or a jacket when I'm driving, it's not my preference. I can do it, but I feel kind of, I feel bound up. I don't like the feel of like extra fabric under my like in my armpit when I'm driving and trying to turn or I don't know if that's weird, but I, anyway, I just don't like it. So being able to get into my car and have it be warm with my seat warmer and being preconditioned, um, I didn't have to wear a jacket so I could drive more comfortably this morning. And that made a big difference to me. Uh, I didn't run the fans or the heater at all. I had the cabin warmed up, got in, um, turned all that off, turned my seat warmer on, drove here, still have seven miles of range as though I did not use the climate control at all because that's what I used to show up with. Um, summertime, um, I know is still a ways off, but it's something that I'm very, very afraid of because I am going to have to use, uh, I live in Las Vegas and if you've never been here during the summer, it gets roughly the temperature of Satan's taint. It is ridiculous how hot it gets here. Uh, we had peak temperatures up around, you know, 120 degrees last year and that's ludicrous. It's, it's absolutely, um, insane. So I'm going to have to run the crap out of the AC and I'm really curious as to what that does to my air conditioning. So if any of you have electric cars in general, but especially those of you with Chevy Volts, especially if it's Chevy Volt one, like I have the, you know, 2012, uh, anything other than the newest model. Uh, and you live in Southern California, Florida, Texas, um, places where it gets hot during the summer, please let me know in the comments how you guys cope with that, because I got to start to learn this stuff now before summer rolls around. Um, but anyway, that's, what's been going on. Thank you guys so much for always, um, give me your comments, give me your suggestions, give me your thoughts. I really appreciate all your time with that. Um, and I'm looking forward to continuing the conversation with you guys today. So I think that's going to about do it. My name is Catherine of the EVs of Nevada. Please remember to like subscribe and smile.